Hi, teacher. Hi, Annie. Hi, De Joara. Hi, Annie. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Excellent. I'm good. I'm happy. It's Friday. Yes. <laughs> yeah. How are you? How was your day? It was good? Mm, yes. Busy, De Joara? Mm, no, my house. All right. But it was a busy day? No. ¿No estuvo ocupado el día? No, estuvo bien tranquilo. Very nice. Very good. What about Ani? ¿Cómo estuvo su día ahora, Ani? Ay, súper matado. <laughs> oh, no. Yo, 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 espera, yo dije yo, ay, no. No, que, que terminaba la reunión. Oh, no. Pero sí, cobré. All right. Very good. Okay. Yes, very good. Está bien, digo yo, haciendo mil y una cosa también, pero bien. <laughs> very nice. Bueno. Happy it's Friday. Because tomorrow I don't teach. <laughs> tomorrow I have um, vacation. All right. Very good. Okay. So the Yuara and Ani. A ver, Ani, ayer we were studying prepositions of time. De ahora se recuerda que eso ya lo hemos visto en el curso anterior, in, on, at. All right, yes. so para, para ellas ayer, para Ani, para Liz, fue como un review, ¿verdad? Del in, on, at. Eh, hablamos de at para eh, momentos como at night, at midnight, at noon, at midday. Um, okay. Then we use in for months, ese es así, esa no se puede quitar. Like in March, in December, and I don't know, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the, in the, in the evening, all right? Les decía yo ayer a Ani, o le recordaba a Ani, a Liz, que por lo general, como decimos, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, the night. Pero no, para, para referirnos a night es at night, ¿verdad? No in the night. Jamás va a ser in the night, all right? Okay. Um, Igual el on, así como in es para meses del año, on is for days of the week. All right, so on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday, on the weekend. All right, or you say on Monday morning or on Saturday night. Independientemente, eh, estemos usando un fragmento del día, pero si anteponemos el día, Monday, Tuesday, whatever, vamos a usarlo con on. All right. Igual el año, ¿verdad? Ni hablamos ayer que los años específicos también decimos in 19, I don't know, in 1981, in 2010, in 2020, independientemente del año, we are going to use in, right? Okay. Eh, eh, para décadas igual, Ani, ¿verdad? 1990s, cuando hablamos de décadas, igual vamos a usar in. Ahora, right, entonces ellas tienen como bien específica. Eh, en qué momento vamos a usar in, on, and at. All right, that's what we talked about yesterday. Obviamente el at también, se me olvidaba esa que es muy grande, es cuando hablamos de horas específicas, at 5 o'clock, at 2.30, at 11. Siempre que usted va a dar una hora, por ejemplo, le preguntan, ¿a qué hora es la reunión? Usted dice at 11.30. All right, ese at debe ir. All right, at 11.30, all right. Or well, what time do you finish your, I don't know, your meeting at two o'clock, all right? No importa la hora del día, you have to say at, okay? So that's what we did yesterday with Annie and Liz, all right? Today, we're gonna move on. Vamos a empezar con la última lectura que está en la plataforma, que es el 2.13, para ver lectura y para ver pronunciación. Y luego empezamos ya la unidad 3, all right? La sección 3, y vamos a hablar de Pronouns. Recordarles, cuando hablamos de demonstrative pronouns, hemos visto, ¿se recuerdan que vimos this, this, that y those? Cuando algo está lejos, está cerca, si es singular, si es plural. Vamos a ver, recordar un poquito de ese y vamos a recordar, a, a ver unos nuevos ahora, ¿ok? So with that in mind, girls, I'm going to take you to the reading so we can actually read here. All right, so I'm going to make it here so we can practice our reading here, okay? So why do, you, oops, why do you need a job? This is the title. Why do you need a job, all right? 
Uh, it says scan the profiles. The profiles are these, like uh, Teresa, Karen, and Lamar, all right? So they are the profiles. Who is in high school? Who is in college? And who is a new parent? Remember that college is university, is not colegio. It's university, all right? So school, or, or no, publico, pero college or university is the same, okay? Very good. So we have these people need jobs, read about their schedules, horarios, experience, and why they need a, they need a job, all right? So this is Teresa, all right? So I want, um, hold on. There you go. Uh, Annie, can you read Teresa, please? I don't have time to work. But I knew a uh, Joe mm -hmm. house college is very no can suave. Is very expensive. Expensive, pero me vamos a ver si lo hago más grandecito. Ay, te me muero. <laughs> ahí, ahí. Um, quiero ver. No, no le veo la Ahí ahí. Ahí ahí. ahí, ahí. Sí. Okay. Eh, I study art. I have class. Uh, all day on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Ah, oh, Ani Teresa, la voy a regañar. Lee la otra cosa más difícil y qué le pasó con los días de la semana. Léamelos otra vez. <laughs> sí, dije. Uh, day Monday, on Monday. Ajá. Uh -huh. On Wednesday. Wednesday, uh, ajá. Friday. Friday. Uh, ah, very good, Ani. Thank you. And Friday, yes. Y, and on Thursday. No. No. ¿Cómo es sí. ese? Sí. <laughs> sí, no me acuerdo. Tuesday. Um, Tuesday. 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 Excellent. All right. Um, Very good. Mm -hmm. And Tuesday mornings. I usually study on weekends. I don't have any. I don't have, mm -hmm. I don't have any experience. Mm -hmm. I can link quickly, 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 all right, very good, okay, very nice, Caring Thomas, uh, all right, very good, De Joara, can you read this one, please? Caring Thomas, my husband and have a new baby, he makes a good salary, but we don't save very much money, we want to save some money to buy a house i take care of the baby so i need a job i can do at home i know how to type and i have a computer excellent very good okay we're gonna see this one right here me voy a mover de aquí all right annie valeras the friends y de llevar el resto all right annie <coughs> i'm uh, insisting no. Yes. I don't get an allowance. No, allowance. No allowance. From my parents anymore. Mm -hmm. I knew to earn some money because I like to work out on the weekend mm -hmm. with my friends. With my friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you are. I go to school every day from 9 a.m. to 3 midday p.m. My father owns a restaurant, so I know a little about restaurant work. All right, very good, thank you. All right, we're gonna check pronunciation. En lo que yo voy revisando pronunciación aquí, o voy leyendo. Si encontramos alguna palabra que no sabemos el significado, me dice, all right? So, Teresa Glass, Teresa Glass, I don't have time to work, but I need a job because college is very expensive. I study art. I have class all day on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and on Tuesday and Thursday morning. I usually study on weekends. I don't have any experience experience but i can learn quickly okay no vocabulary todo bien en esa 
Super, very good. Annie, what about you? Eh, no sé qué es quickly. Ah, fast, así, rápido. Rápido. Aprendo rápido. Fácil, rápido. Ajá. All right, quickly. All right, very good. Experience es experiencia, ¿verdad? Pero eso creo que ya sabíamos. Very good. Kevin, I mean, Karen Thomas. My husband and I have a new baby. He makes a good salary. But we don't save very much money. We want to save some money to buy a house. I take care of the baby, so I need a job I can do at home. I know how to type and I have a computer. Okay? No vocabulary? No? Type, no me acuerdo. Uh, type is escribir a máquina o en la compu, like to, to type. Okay. Como typing, very good. Y solo recordarles, money no es money, es money. All right, money, money, money. Okay. Uh, very good. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Ah, take care. You understand? Take care. I take care of my baby. You understand? Take care. It's like, yo cuido al bebé. Cuidar. Uh -huh. Si yo le digo, say bye, take care. Dos, cuídese. Take care. All right? Very good. Okay, let's go on with this one. Lamar Andrews. I'm 16 now. And I don't get an allowance from my parents anymore. I need to earn some money because I like to go out on the weekend with my friends. I go to school every day from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. My father owns a restaurant, so I know a little about restaurant work. Okay, vocabulary from, from this one? I see. Allowance. Allowance? Allowance, mm -hmm. Allowance is mesada. Ya, yeah, cuando le dan como un dinero a los, a los muchachos, a los niños, no sé, así como un dólar o cinco dólares o diez dólares o whatever, cuando le den a la semana o al mes, all right, so you get an allowance. Eso es como muy común allá, allowance. allowance, all right. So I don't get, ya no le dan, I don't get an allowance from my parents anymore, <laughs> okay. I need to anymore? earn. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y anymore. Anymore, ya no más. Ah, ya no, no. Ajá, entonces tengo 16 años ya y ya no me dan eh, la mesada. Mis papás ya no me dan la mesada. Ya no. All right, not anymore. I need to earn. ¿Entendemos este verbo aquí? Earn. Ok, necesito ganar, pero no ganar de ahí y gané el juego, sino que de ganar cuando yo recibo un salario. All right, I earn some, I need to earn some money because I like to go out on the weekend. With my friends. Mira aquí, Ani. Y también de yo ahora, obviamente, on, ¿verdad? On the weekend, ¿verdad? Es la preposición de tiempo que vimos ayer. Y weekend, van juntas. On the weekend with my friends. I go out, da, 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 de las nueve a las tres y media. My father owns a restaurant. Owns, ¿saben qué es owns? No. Eh, mi papá tiene un restaurante. Es el dueño de un restaurante. Owns, okay. Owns a restaurant. So I know a little bit about restaurant work, okay. Let's see, Annie. Vamos a ver. How old, listen to my question, Annie. How old were you, not now, before, were you when you had your first job, Annie? When you, you said, oh my goodness, my first job. How old were you? Mi primer trabajo. Ajá. Uh -huh. How old were you? Um, y... Es que sí lo puedo decir en, en español porque no me acuerdo cómo decirlo en inglés. Eh, my first uh -huh. job. Yes. Eh, baby sister. A baby sitter. Ah, was a baby sitter. Oh, all right. How old, Annie? You were 16, 17, 18, 20. How old? Um, 16. 16. Ah, oh, very good. Okay. What about the Joara? What was your first job and how old were you? Uh, 
Um, híjole, ya no me acuerdo. <risa> Usted me pregunta cosas, ni me acuerdo qué desayuné o qué almuerzo. Oh my goodness, Dave, I'm sorry. <risa> um, eh, I. Nine years old. Okay. Nine years old. Um, asistente, ¿cómo era? Asistente administrativo, no me acuerdo ahorita. Administrative assistant? Uh -huh. Oh. 19 or 9? 19, perdón. 19, 19. all right. Oh my goodness. Okay, 19. <laughs> oh, all right, very good. Okay, interesting. Very good. Okay. So here we have this. Igual después de la lectura hay unas, um, how do you call it? Hay unas preguntas, pero esas las hacen ustedes. All right, vamos a ver. Uh, let me just do something here. Deme un segundito aquí. Solo quiero ver una cosa. Hold on, just give me one second. Teacher, yo tenía una pregunta. Fíjese sí, que estaba haciendo un ejercicio de la plataforma, exactamente Ajá. el 1.12. Sí. Pero no sé cómo es que tendrían que ir las respuestas porque como las ponga me salen malas. 1.12 es el mismo que me dijo, um, creo que es el mismo que me estaba diciendo. Um, 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 um. Hay un truco, yo ya los contesté. Hay un truco, ¿cuál es el truco, Ani? A ver, cuéntele a ellos en lo que busco la plataforma también para poderles enseñar. Es que hay una, por ejemplo, en unas tenés que poner ya sea meeting e afternoon, no es hora, ¿ya? Mm. Ajá. No, es que el 1.2 es... Eh... Que no es la conversación que escuchas. Que tenés que poner los números. Ah, esa la hice súper bien. No. Es, bueno, la primera pregunta, de hecho, aquí le tuve una, le hice una captura pantalla. Dice, are you from the United States? Uh -huh. Ah. Sí, yo sí, le ya. puse, no, I am not in the United States. Y ahí te pregunta que la que... es de Canadá. Ajá. La siguiente Entonces, es, si, is your teacher from Canadá? No, she's not. No, she's ¿Qué? not. No, she's not. Ajá. Conté al final. Ajá. Sí, no, she's not. Y puse la coma al no. Sí, y también le puse después, la hice más larga. No, coma, she's not from Canada. Y también se la agarra mal. Y me da mal. Ajá. Ay, me parece me bien dio, raro. Me la dio buena porque yo sí la puse. A ver. ¿Cómo? Espérame, que no me ¿Corta o larga? No, así como tú lo acabas de decir, ya te digo, como, como la de puse. De forma larga. Uh -huh. De forma larga, ya te digo. Aquí la tengo anotada. Me pareció raro porque todas me salen malas. Uh -huh. Mire que no me carga esto. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Te estoy buscando. Si la encuentro, te aviso. ¿Cómo la puse? Ahorita. Um, permítame, ahorita la estoy buscando yo igual. Tengo un segundo de ahí. No, en la de listening no me costó para nada. Súper, <ríe> yo ahora. Sí, en nice. esa la que me costó. <ríe> Yo dije, ahí le voy a preguntar al teacher, porque intenté, sí, intenté y nada. Entonces, seguí. Sí, ahorita, espéreme. 1.12 me dice de llevar. Sí, 1.12. Okay. Es la de yes, no long yo, answer with me. Yo la puse así, no, coma, she is not from Canada. Uh -huh, she is not from Canada, así la tengo. Y en la primera... Pero el chico contractado de un solo. Ah, no. De un separado lo puse. It's not, pero. Eh, Le ha puesto espacio otra. de Yoara. Sí, hay espacio. 
pero también la puse contratada y me dio buena. Así, no coma, she isn't from Canada. A ver. La pri desde la, la primera, de yo ahora desde la primera. Sí, la, no son, sí son cuatro pero, y las cuatro me salen. <risa> Ahorita, espérame. Ay, no, eso no. ¿Por qué? A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. Aquí. Eh, de yo mire lo que en el chat, porfa. Todas esas podrían ser Ay. opciones. No, I am not from United States. Ajá, sí lo puse. Le puse um, el punto. Ajá. En la segunda. Todas esas es de la primera. Uh -huh. Todas esas son posibles respuestas. Podrían ser posibles respuestas de la primera. All right. Uh, de nuevo ahora. Este aquí. ¿Y la parte? Igual si quiere, tome la captura de eso. Acá, igual. You can, um, this is another, this is for number two. Lo que acabo de mandar. Yes, yeah, she is from Canada. That's number two. Oh, yes, yeah, she no, is I, from Canada. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. No, she is. Yes, yeah, she is from is not, Canada. No, porque le falta el not. No, she is Es que not están from varias, Canada. son varias formas de contestar. Uh -huh. Entonces, Entonces what I'm sharing. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. Y yo puse no she is también y me lo dio. Ajá. Es que era válido, o sea, dentro de la combinación uh -huh. que hay programada era Exacto. válido. Uh -huh. Lo que yo necesito saber es si es algo que espacio o algo así, es lo que voy a intentar ahora probar. Uh -huh. Si gusta, you can take a picture of this right now, de ahora and then yes. you can check it later. All right. Let me see. I'm going to show you number three, igual para que la vea. La que voy a poner ahorita, they're number three, ok? This one's right here. Uh, this is three. And uh, here. That would be number three. Okay. Th those are the choice, all the choices for number three. And these are all the choices no, for no, number four. Uh -huh. You're not four. Uh, no, no, we aren't the same age. No, we are the same age. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Es que es parte de las opciones que hay. Yeah. Oops, 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 oops. Here. Bueno, hoy voy a intentar a ver qué, qué es. Eh, de ahora, when you type the answer, don't type um, el signo. Tienes que poner el punto. Eso no, ¿verdad? El, el or y el... el um... Sí, 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 no, no se preocupe. No. Uh -huh. Eso sí, right. yo lo yeah, entiendo. That's <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, very good. So here, girls, we're going to talk about eh, demonstrative pronouns. ¿Se recuerdan que los demonstrative pronouns, they are this? Just, let, me, let me just get this for you. Hold on, guys. Do, 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 do. Question. No. Oh, no. Oh, está lenta. My inter. Oh, my goodness. What am I doing today? Hold on. Y no está lloviendo por su casa. No, pero está súper nublado, como que ya. <laughs> Oscuro que ya va a llover. Ya empezó okay. a pringar. Gran right. calor. Is. Sí pasó pringando, pero ha quedado un gran calor. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, aquí no, no ha llovido ni, ni nada, pero está así como que bien, bien, bien cloudy. Mm -hmm. Just give me a second, girls, please. Ahí está costando que caliente esto. <laughs> Okay, yeah, here. And this one is right here. Okay, I just want you to show, I just want to show you this. All right, so you guys remember what we're talking about. These are some demonstrative pronouns, okay? Eso igual ya lo, ya lo hemos visto like before, but then you can see it again. I'm just going to move us here. When we talk about demonstrative pronouns, we have four. We can say this, these, that, and those. Esto es como recordándoles, ¿verdad? This is for one. And for example, I say, this is my, all right, my cell phone. I say, I don't know. I say I have like two happy faces or whatever. I have two little pieces of paper. I say these because it's plural. All right, these are mine, for example, all right? I can say that picture, la foto que está detrás de Anita, that picture, 
one picture. Pero como hay dos, creo que hay dos, entonces digo those pictures. So this one here is for singular, near. Cuando digo near, it's like very close to me. And I have that for one, but far away. All right, far. That pencil, that picture, that boy, right? So lo podemos usar para... Eh, Objetos o lo podemos usar para personas, no hay problema, all right? Now, this is for plural. This is for plural, cerca, near, igual que este, este es cerca, pero singular. And this is um, plural, lejos, those, all right? Those pictures, these pictures, all right? These pictures, I have these pictures. Pero Anita tiene unos atrás, so I say those pictures, all right, because I cannot see them. Esos son unos demonstrative pronouns que usamos, all right, very, very often. I say this one, all right. Uh, here, igual, just for you to remember this, you say this is a sandwich. These are sandwiches, all right, because you have two. Y están cerca del niño. I say that, that is a banana, only one banana, and I say those are bananas. All right, because they are far away from me. So I say those, okay? Here we say these are books or those are pencils. All right, son plurales ambos, pero estos están cerca y estos están far. All right, the same thing here. This is a pencil, that is a book. All right, that book, okay? Igual, si se fija, como este es plural, lo conjugamos con a. All right, ya sea lejos, cerca o lejos, no importa, lo estamos conjugando con are. This one, we say this is a pencil, all right, because it's only one pencil, y está cerca. Y digo, that is a book, that is a book, y ocupo el is, because I'm talking about one, all right, okay? Now here, acuérdese cuando hablamos también de eso, es importante que usamos también cuando hablamos de singulares, vamos a hablar this is a cell phone. All right, I say this is a pencil crayon. All right, I say these are scissors. Y ya no le pongo a, porque acuérdese que el a me denota uno. All right, these are scissors. I have two. One, two. Por eso lo vemos como un conjunto o como un par, por ejemplo. I say this is a tape. All right, because it's only one. Entonces, si es necesario acordarnos que cuando hablamos de singular, lejos o cerca, vamos a poner el artículo A. All right, si fuese an, por ejemplo, tengo un borrador. Hi, Selina. Digo, ah, this is an eraser. All right. And then here I have the plural forms. Cuando ya sea eh, cerca o lejos. Pero si es plural, vamos a pluralizar lo que estamos hablando. And I say, these are scissors. All right. So I have scissors con S. La mayoría termina con S o en el caso, este, estos cambios, ¿verdad? AES o IES. Pero ya hemos visto también en otras clases que tenemos plurales irregulares. Por ejemplo, decimos a child y decimos children. ¿Verdad? No decimos childs, tampoco decimos childrens, porque ya es plural. No le podemos seguir pluralizando el plural, right? I say uh, one woman, but I say for women, all right? No decimos womans, decimos women, igual para man. One man, a spider man, y luego men, tenemos muchos hombres, men, all right? Mouse is only one mouse, un ratoncito, pero si tenemos la familia, decimos mice. All right, ese es el plural de mouse. Mice, M-I-C-E. Entonces, to, tenemos que saber esos singulares y esos plurales regulares o irregulares para poder usarlos con los demonstrative pronouns. Ok. A ver, eh, I want you to make, vamos a ver acá. I don't know, do you have questions with this? Necesitaba repasar esto para después enseñarles los nuevos que vamos a, o lo que le complementa esto. All right. Do you have any questions about this? No? All right. This is what I want you to do. I want you to make 
two sentences using this, two sentences using these, diferentes, different sentences, two sentences using that, and two sentences using those, okay? Yes? So two for each. At the end, we're gonna have eight sentences. Two singular, two plural, near, as es a cerca, two singular, two plural, far, okay? Escríbanlas en su cuadernito y me avisan cuando estén ya terminadas. All right? Yes? You understand what to do? Teacher, me siento desubicada. ¿Qué le pasó a Sally? No, ¿en, en qué están? En, bueno, ya vi lo singular y plural. Estamos en los, en los pronombres demostrativos, Sally. Cuando Ajá. se dice esto, estos, aquel o so aquellas. Right? So you say, for example, I don't know, this is a cell phone. Uh -huh. right? Esto es, like, because está cerca de mí. All right? Pero en el caso que, um, no sé, tiene, o usted tiene algo, o usted tiene un celular ahí y como obviamente no está cerca de mí, yo le digo, that is a cell phone. Ese es un celular. All right. So that one is for, cuando hablamos de these and this, they are for near, cuando están cerca, ya sea plural o singular. Cuando mm -hmm. hablamos de that y those, Igual, uno es, ser, uno es plural y otro es singular, pero estamos refiriéndonos a que están lejos. Uh -huh. All right. Entonces, la idea es hacer two sentences per um, oh, okay. for the most okay. pronoun. Okay? Uh -huh. okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.
finished. Dos eran, ¿verdad, teacher? Mm -hmm. Yes. Finished? Yes. All right, very good. Okay, uh, Sadie finished and Annie finished? Yes. All right, very good. Let's hear. Um, Selena, can you tell me your the first two sentences, Selly, please? The first, I, I have a, this is my life. <laughs> oh, very I, good. This is my life, yes. I like uh, this dog. Okay, yes, I like this dog, very good. Uh-huh. And, and the other, I, I have carried this book. Excellent. This, These this books, books. Book. Okay. With, with this. Okay. With el, this. El, el, el primero es, el, prim, el singular es this. Y el otro es these. This. This, es más abierto. These books. Uh -huh. This book. Yes, very good. And, and the other one is, um, oh, I oh, only have one. <laughs> okay, that's okay. I can carry this, these books. Okay. And with that, Selena, do you have with that? Uh, with that, uh, I have two. She uh -huh. has to buy that Christmas tree. That Christmas tree, very good, yes. And you have to, to sit in that chair. Ah, oh, very good. All right, you have to sit in that chair. Very good. Okay. And with those, no. And the other? Oh, okay, I have uh, those, those shoes are ugly. Oh my goodness, okay. And I clean uh, those, those cars. Okay, all right, sounds fair. Very good, thank you, Selena, all right. Annie, can you tell me your, can you tell us your sentences, Annie? Yo solo hice una, pero así como Selena tan elaborado, no. Yo puse. <laughs> this book is mine. Yes. Uh, that room is too large. Uh -huh. These are your wire, wires. Wires. Ay, no sé cómo se pronuncia. These are. The, you. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Ya le digo, ya se me olvidó. Wires. Wires. Eh, significa billeteras. No sé cómo se dice. Ah, billeteras. Wallets. Wallets. Ah, wallets. Okay. Ajá. Y dos, ¿cómo es? Dos. Dos are old house. Those, oh, those are old houses. 
houses. Excellent. Very good. Because it's plural, right? Very good. Okay. Very nice. Thank you, Ani. What about the Joara? Let's see. Let's hear your sentences. There you His glass is red. Okay. His door is big and black. Okay. That car is very expensive. Mm -hmm. That house look big. That house looks, looks big. Excellent. Uh -huh. Yes, very good. Uh -huh. uh, these children are playing. <laughs> very good. I like to play with these shoes. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. La otra era, those bird fly, those birds fly very high. Okay, nice sentence. Those glass are perfect. Those glasses? Sí. Glasses. Those glasses, those glasses are, are excellent. Very good. Okay, very good. So you see this is not very complicated. De todas maneras, ustedes ya lo sabían. All right, like reviewing it, all right? Lo voy a llevar a la plataforma ahorita. Acuérdense que este ya es la unidad 3. O la sección 3. We're here, all right? We're talking about grammar, demonstrative, demonstratives, y luego tenemos one it once. Por eso les decía que teníamos que ver los demonstratives primero y luego ya hablar sobre esas dos palabras que usamos mucho en inglés, all right? So here you say, for example, how much is this necklace? All right? Usted tiene el necklace, el, el collar, y dice, how much is this necklace? Or... You can say, how much is this one? Y ya no dice el qué, because I'm looking at it, okay? So you say, ah, all right, so you give the answer. Si yo, usted está en una vitrina, y yo la estoy atendiendo, usted, está, usted llegó y me dijo, excuse me, how much is that necklace? Y hay tres necklaces ahí, ¿cierto? Entonces mi pregunta en automático va a ser, which one? El one me reemplaza el que, de lo que estoy hablando. Como yo le dije, how much is this necklace? Ne estoy hablando de necklace. Para usted no repetirlo, which necklace, vamos a usar which one. Usted y yo entendemos que estamos hablando del necklace. No nos perdemos ahí. Y yo le digo, por ejemplo, hay un necklace que es rojo, otro es azul y otro es amarillo. Y le digo yo, ah, the black one. Yes? Entonces, por eso les digo, usamos el one y el once muchísimo, all right? reemplazando de lo que estamos hablando. Porque entonces sería como, how much is this necklace? Which necklace? The black necklace. Entonces, así como que necklace, necklace, necklace a cada rato, all right? So I say, I, how much is this necklace? Usted me dice, which one? Y yo le digo, the black one. Obviamente no estamos hablando de carros, no estamos hablando de blusas, no estamos hablando de vestidos, estamos hablando de necklace. All right? One is singular y once is plural. All right? For example, I say, I like, vamos de shopping, all right? Yo le digo, oh, I like those shoes. Those shoes, porque son dos. All right? Those shoes. Y me dice usted, which ones? Porque estamos enfrente de ad hoc o de peiles donde estemos enfrente y obviamente hay muchos pares de zapatos. Y usted me dice, which ones, Jessica? Yo le digo, ah, the high heel ones, los tacón alto. All right, the high heel ones. All right, entonces, one is for singular and ones is for plural. Do you understand that? Yes? All right, very good. Ok, no sé si han oído esa expresión, no, no sé si llamar expresión, pero esa forma de hablar del one a cada rato y el once, ¿lo han escuchado? ¿O no really? No, no todavía. All right, very good. Here we have, ok. Ajá, Celi. Sí, sí la he escuchado. Ajá. Pero, pero no la uso tan frecuentemente por, porque no sé cómo ¿Qué significa? Ah, ok, all no, right. ¿Cómo usarla? Porque... Solo, okay. solo, solo sé que es which one, cuál. O sea, sí, sí uh -huh. de hecho es cuando usted me dice which one es cuál. Uh -huh. y, el, y el which ones es cuál es. Uh -huh. right. ¿Por qué le ponemos el one y el once? I don't know, right? It's just the, the way we ask things, all right? Y siempre va al final. All right? Si usted se refiere, por ejemplo, a los, tacón, a los de tacón alto, all right? O los tacones altos, all right? So you say high-heeled ones. Si hay una cartera rosada que a usted le gusta, the pink one, el one siempre va a ir al final, o el once. 
All right, dando después de la breve descripción de lo que usted está hablando. Okay, so here we have how much is this necklace or how much is that necklace? This one or that one? Este o aquel? Es lo mismo, solo que ahora ya no solo decimos this necklace or that necklace. Decimos this one or that one. All right, y usted me o puede preguntar which one? ¿Cuál? Y yo le digo the blue one. Y usted dice, ah, it's $42. All right. Or I say, how much are these earrings? These ones? How much are those earrings? Those ones? Which ones? The yellow ones. They are $18. Okay? So that's pretty much how we use this in English. All right? Ari, no sé si tiene alguna pregunta del one y ones. ¿No? ¿Están bien? ¿Ya? Yeah? Sí, teacher. All right, very good. <laughs> All right. Eh, por ejemplo, Ani ya nos presentó a su perrito nuevo, a perrita nueva, ¿verdad? Por decirle algo. Oímos nosotros que están ladrando. Entonces me dice, uh, my dog... Me dice Annie, my dog is barking. Wow, wow, right? My dog is barking. Y como yo ya sé que ella tiene dos perros, yo le digo, which one? Y me dice, ah, the uh, Luna, right? The lu Luna, right? Or you say the baby one, el mamá chiquita, the baby one. All right? O de Yuara tendría dos sobrinas. Y me dice, ah, my niece plays karate or taekwondo and I say, como yo sé que tiene dos o tres o cuatro, tendría como eh, muchas sobrinas, yo le digo, which one? ¿Quién de las niñas? Y me dice, ah, eh, Lupita. All right. Or the little one, la más chiquita, or the bigger one. All right. Yes. Okay. So that's when we use the one all the time. Okay. A ver, I just want to show you something here que tenemos Solo déjeme, I'm going to stop sharing this y voy a buscar el ejercicio que tenía. Oh no. Where did I put it? No puede ser que lo hice. Just give me a second, girls, please. Just give me one second. Stuff. All right, so here we have. No, it's this. It's this one, maybe. No. Wait, girls, please. All right, no, I'm gonna get it again. Just give me a second. One at once, right? Okay, there we go. Here, so here we have this, all right? Uh, just let me see that. Give me a second. Here. I'm just going to put it here, guys. Okay, so we're going to do this really quickly so you guys can practice it here. Just give me one second. Okay. So here we go. Here we have, this is like the first exercise I want us to do. Media key, here we have it, okay? So here you're using one or ones, okay? So you say exercise one. So the green one or the blue ones, all right? So this is like what we're talking about here. Read it, read number one, number two, number three, four, and five, and then you fill in here, los espacios que están en blanco, con one or ones. Okay, can we do that? 
Léalo ahí, porfa, y vamos viendo cómo que le vamos a ir poniendo en esos espacios que están ahí. Ok. So do it, and then when you finish, let me know. How are you doing? Did you are Celia and Annie finished? Yeah? All right, Annie, yes? Yeah, very good. Okay, let's try to do number one then. Uh, the you are, can you do the first sentence? I leave got two rabbits okay. and one, a white one and a black one. Very good, a yes. white one and a black one. Yes, very good. Okay. Selena, number two. There are a lot of shoes on the shop window. I like the red, the, the red, the, I like the red one. One or one, Sally? They said, there are a lot of shoes in the shopping window. I like the red ones. Excellent, the red ones best, What yes. Red? red ones because you're talking about shoes. Yeah. Very good. All right. Um, Annie, number three. Uh, hot money bears. Are they, are they in the cage? Are, are they in the cage? En la, en la jaula. Uh -huh. uh, they are two blue one. One or ones? One. Mm, there are? Uh -huh. There are two blue ones. Uh -huh, there are two blue ones, yes. Uh -huh. um, yellow one. And a yellow one, yes, very good. ¿Cómo sabemos que aquí es one si aquí es one? Porque Por está hablando de dos yeah. y el otro solo. Yeah, aquí, here you're talking about two. And this one is only talking about one, a yellow one, right? Very good. Number four, um, uh, the Yuara. There is a new boutique, boutique, eh, ¿verdad? Boutique, boutique, yeah. Mm -hmm. Boutique in uh, Short Street. 
Mm -hmm. But it's not as uh, good as the one in Market Street. Excellent. Okay. But it isn't as good as the one in Market Street. Very good. And Selena, the last one. This magazine are very old. I must buy some new some new ones. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. How do you know it's, it's one, Sally, and not one? Because this magazine. Yeah. And also, big. yeah, and also you have some here. And some uh, is no, not for uh, one, right? It's for plural ones. Yes, very good. All right. All right, very good. Um, do you have any questions about one and ones? Or it's okay? Easy, right? It's not so complicated. It's okay. Una vez lo entiendes, como que you can use it for everything. <laughs> All right, very good. Um, Celi, usted me escribió aquel día, ¿verdad, Celi? Y lo, sí. logró, lo logró hacer al final, Celi, o todavía no? Es que no he vuelto a entrar a la plataforma. Excelente, Celi. Pero... <laughs> Pero, pero no sé qué pasa ahí. Es el 1.12. Sí, he probado de respuesta es corta y respuesta larga. Yeah. Respuesta larga. Eh, Celi, ¿a quién es? ¿Puede ver el chat? Eh, el, el del phone. Sí, aquí ahorita. No, 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 el chat de aquí, de, de ah. Zoom. Oh. Aquí, ahorita sí. Uh -huh. Eh, de Joana tuvo también eh, problemas con, o está teniendo problemas con ese porque no le agarra las opciones. Acá están como las, todas las posibilidades o las possible answers that you can check or that you can have. All right, if you want, you can take a picture, Selena, so you can deal with the, the, uh, the sentences, okay? So here, the, from here is number one, this is number two, this is number three, and the other one's number four. So if you want, you can take a picture, Sally. Okay. Cuando las vaya a escribir en la plataforma, no le vaya a poner ese signo de igual. All right, eso es for us. <laughs> y de ellos, así como obvio. No, but you know what? Some people might get confused. <laughs> All right. Yes, Selena, did you take a picture? Yes. Apúrese, Selena, que es la copia. Es que pongo el chat, pero que no se ve. Bueno, si no, ya se las mando a usted, Selly. Sí, por favor. Ya, yeah. all right. <laughs> all right, girls. Para saber, o sea. Ajá, uh -huh. yeah, of course. Okay, Selly, uh, de Joana and Annie, thank you so much. I will see you on Monday, okay? So tomorrow no class. Please, 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 seguimos avanzando en la plataforma. All right, so you guys can uh, work on that this weekend. All right, thank you so much. I will see you on Monday. Bye, girls. See Have you on nice Monday. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.